Hello everyone. Today I'm at Brown's Cars, Peugeot, Suzuki and Subaru in Clare, County Donegal. As usual, all additional information about this dealership will be mentioned in the description box below. I'm going to give you a full and dead tour of this 2005 Subaru Impreza. In this review I'm going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. We'll also start off, look at the engine, go to performance data and take a look around the exterior. So, let's begin. The exterior colour in this car is known as metallic beige. has frameless windows as well as power mirrors, locks and windows cloth inserts in the door panel ashtray on the driver's side as well as boots and fuel filler cap release Manual adjusting cloth seats on both driver and passenger side. This particular car has 147,640 kilometers on the clock. So let's fire it up. a digital clock in the dash, a CD radio, this says on the 1010, that's where at 1010 will be direct as Steven Spielberg tells us, they do exactly what they say on the 1010, small storage area, as well as a climate control, four fan speeds, zone selection and heat settings, front and rear defrost as well as recycling. Cigarette light or an ashtray. The Impreza is a 5 speed manual, we'll just run through the gears. Engage reverse, over to the right and down. Small storage area. So it's a decent sized glove box. Has very comfortable and supportive cloth seats, which are stitched. Holders in the center. So let's take a look at the back seats. Rear windows are also frameless. It is pushed back a little in this car, but normally the legroom is very good. Interior lighting. These seats are very comfortable. It's a very spacious car.
So let's turn on the headlights as well as the hazards. I'll turn on the front and rear fog lights. As I mentioned, the car does have full electric windows. Apparently, the one on the driver's side doesn't seem to be working. So we'll put down the passenger one. We'll take a look around the exterior. This car's front and rear mud flaps. Previous owner also installed the 17 inch Fox Alley wheels. Hood scoop, which feeds cool air directly into the engine. Plenty of room on the passenger side. It is a quite a spacious car. Particular Impreza has a small deck lid spoiler. Decent sized boot. Also has an integrated third brake light in the rear window. So let's see how the Subaru shines. Revs to about 3000 RPM. Very smooth and responsive steering. in this Impreza is a 1.6 litre boxer. The 
produces 105 brake horsepower, goes on to the top speed of 108 miles an hour. It's a 16 valve, 4 cylinder engine, otherwise known as a flat 4 in Subarus. So a few things I'd like to say about the Impreza. To begin with, I am quite a big Subaru fan, so I really like this car. It is laid out pretty much the exact same as the 2007 version I done. This uh, particular model is a TS. I'm not entirely sure what TS stands for, but it is one of the lower trims. Uh, the uh, driver's side window isn't actually working at the moment. I think the fuse might have gone or something, but the rest of the windows in the car do work. It is in pretty good condition. Uh, other things, the back seats are normally quite uh, spacious, uh, there is usually a good bit of legroom, but uh, these front seats have been uh, slid back a little bit. Uh, other things, I'll um, try and get my uh, crash test rings at the beginning of the video, I imagine they'd be the same as the 2007 one. So uh, overall, I'd like to say this is, a, is quite a good car and uh, would make a good buy, you know, if you want a first car. Because it is 1.6 litre, so insurance on that is a lot cheaper than if you were to go, for example, with a WRX or an STI. So, I think we'll finish up the video. And just power the car off. I hope you enjoyed this full and net tour on the 2005 Subaru Impreza. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe and please stay tuned. I have plenty more videos to come. Thanks everyone.